Okay, so from where we left off, you were continuing to make your way down the road. Uh, you had the run-in with the dryad chick, and she threw a bunch of crap at you. There was a great wall of fire, and uh, poor, poor judgment on my part on this map where I, I let y'all be way too far, and uh, y'all uh, master I noticed master that curse. when you played them. I was like, fuck, I didn't <laughs> think this through. Um, but uh, the big tree, uh, the one that the dryad chick walked up and was talking to, um, had a bunch of se he had several drow bodies sticking out of him. Uh, and it was a pretty ominous looking just to see bodies impaled on uh, upper tree limbs. I also, he has at least something that is lootable, which I did create him into loot. Um, and other than that, we can continue. I know y'all are hurting. Um, are y'all wanting to try to stop it all? How far are we from this town? Well, from the area that you're looking to get to, you are about a day and a half away. Mm. Hey. What'd you say? I'll leave it up to you guys. I was stuttering or trying to stutter, and what does Nesca say? Um, I mean, we're gonna have to rest at some point. We should probably try and do that, I guess. Yeah, I'm fine with the rest. Okay. Yeah, I don't really need one, but same. everybody else kind of does. Like a short one? Wait, hold on. Let me see if I can get by. <laughs> we do need to start taking more short rests to take advantage of your spells. The wizard, yeah. The wizard, hands down, needs to take short rests. So, yeah. He means more of Because yeah. you have arcane but... recovery, right? Oh, no, wait, no we're, talk we're talking about Joe. Oh, Joe too? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's just take a short rest. I'm going to start blasting. Yeah, the more often we can take short rests, the more often he can just double barrel both of his spells mm -hmm. into someone's face. So the goal at the moment is short rest, correct? Yeah. Okay. All right, then y'all go right on ahead. I'll uh, skip about an hour just to see better. All that. Oh, God. We're gonna take uh look at level eleven I get I'm trying to remember how many spells I get. <laughs> Six levels worth of spells. So we're gonna take the like Three, uh, three level ones putting me back up to there we go oh yes character Alrighty. On to the next. Them. Okay. Step about it. Good. There we go. I am feeling a lot better now. Okay. All right. Um, 
So uh, just reiterating again, the tree has something that could be taken from it. Um, don't know if anyone's even tried. Um, I looked at it. I'm good. Okay. I mean, I can do a investigation check to kind of see if there's anything on there. No, you can literally just take it from the chest. Yeah. Oh. It's like a staff of the woodlands. The way he described it, I didn't know if we were investigating the drow dead bodies on the tree, so. But I rolled a 16. <laughs> and did you find anything else? I don't know. God, did I find anything else? Did. I did. Okay. He did not sound happy about that. He's I'm the one uh, who made an extra comment. I'm typing. No, no, it's, I, it's fine. I was. Uh, I'm typing it up now. Uh, like when Bilbo fell in the cave and found the ring. <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh, you accidentally found the legendary item. Oops. Shit. Yeah, I liked the old animation version better than the live action. But it was a good one. It's a classic. Oh, the Ring of Power makes me so angry. The Ring of Power makes me so angry. Do, do. Guys, this this might be important. Go on. Um, this this is a note that states that explains how to lay traps and prepare for an ambush if any of anybody chases after a particular person. And who might that be? Um, that's that's all it says. It doesn't list any names, but there might be tra traps ahead. Hmm. But it's oh. definitely written by the drow. Okay. All right. If it doesn't say anything else, it's not like we can. Was it on what? one of the drow bodies when you found it? Was is this something they took off a draw body god? Yes. Yes. Um, also, I don't know what kind of traps. It was it was very vague, but it said um, pretty much its commands about how to lay out traps to prepare for if anybody chased after. All right. Well, uh, we are perceiving as we go. Yep. Constant right. per, um, perception checks. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna clump y'all. Clump us. What? What's the worst that could happen? Okay. All right. Okay. Now activate this one. All right, let me know when y'all are all in. Yep. Yep. Okay. Mad Eye Moody, I love it. <laughs> yes. So, uh, you notice that like the uh, the dense forest as you're kind of traveling along the road uh, opens up into like a small clearing that's dominated by a very large tree in its center. Uh, there are several old roots that stretch out from the massive trunk before uh, actually like kind of arching into the ground. Uh, and here and there, there are several just low mounds of earth that just kind of sit above like the moist dirt that shows some signs of like animal life. 
Where exactly are those mounds? Uh, so in relation to where you're standing at right now, um, I will uh, highlight one in a, uh, do it in a green color, way to make it a little stand out a little bit better. So one that you can see would be about right there. Then another one uh, right there from about where you're standing. You see the green circles I added. Mm -hmm. yeah. So these are actually mounds, not like holes. Yeah, like imagine like a like a giant like ant hill, basically. Okay. Great. Who has a? Uh... You can see them though, right? I realize that because I can't see that far out. Yes, I can see three. Uh, okay. Let's see. Take like a bow and arrow and shoot at one, see what happens. That's my thought. Uh, okay. So let me do Becca. I'm going to blast the one over by the tree, if you can see my cursor. Apparently, they're nothing more than large gopher, or giant gopher mounds, is what God just whispered to me. Okay. I'm Based off assuming your I perceive passive, that. Your, your, pa your passive perception allows you to recognize okay. that. Okay. I would disclose that to the party. Okay. Okay. Right. I guess we'll start just moving. Move through. Large gopher mounds, gotcha. So rodents of unusual sizes, gotcha. Best movie ever. Anything happen when I get this far? Uh, no. Uh, Still Nesca, not a... Yeah, Nesca, make a stealth check. Might as well just auto fail that one, but give me a second. Logan's was surprisingly not too shitty. Should we all make them or just? They're in heavy armor, so they would make they'd be making the most noise as they're traversing across, and they're a little heavier than the than the rest of you. Okay. Uh, so as you start making your way along there, uh, and you're making just a little bit of noise, um, you start hearing rumblings coming from multiple directions. Yeah. Looks like we're out. You're like Now waiting around to find out what it is. Yep. Let's keep going. In tremors, graboids. Yeah, it's just a really large purple worm. Yet again, not waiting around. It's a pack of diglets. Bruh. Guess at least this is roll for initiative. Apparently. Okay. Is it okay that my guns on the or my cannons on the tracker? But I oh, not... I'll uh. Oh, I guess I missed you. That's my fault. Let's see, where did you? 
stand looking for you. Let me uh, remove said Kizzy. Okay, is that everybody? Here's uh, Mintra, you just got roll yours. Okay, cool. <laughs> Ooh, not, uh, not the greatest. So uh, one of them burrows up from out from under the ground and swings at you with like a weird uh, bone looking mace. So let's see. Uh, Logan cannot see that one, so he. Excellent start. Okay. Stop. Stop. Okay. Okay. All right. Terrible miss. And and bam, just as just a shitty. That's no fun. I can't see that one. Uh it should be right in front of you. He's like let me oh, that's my fault. My bad. My bad. Oh. That thing, yeah, sorry. Okay. Yep. That thing just came out of the ground? Yes, there's a giant hole in the ground from where it burrowed up from. Okay. Okay. Oh, it didn't, uh, it didn't do your cloak. It didn't turn it back on. Be. Go back. There we go. Now it's applied. The one in front of me. A really big one to your right. Yeah. Logan, this is your chance to get to fight a giant. Yeah, we'll see how it goes, I guess. You're muted. Why is it every time we fight giants, he misses? He's literally not here. I think that's really all I can do for now. Really, every session he misses, we fight a fucking giant.
force it was just one away from uh, flanking. Oh, fuck. Okay, so you're gonna move away. Which one? Big one? Oh, no, the little one. Okay. Now the big one. <coughs> Oh shit. Okay. And then. Elevated. Okay. How high are you wanting to go up? Uh, the 45 that I have left. Okay. And if that's like... If the limbs of the tree like are, can support me, then I'll stay on the tree. And not use the boots to fly. I love the music change just as your turn started. <laughs> I will say it was not intentional. Okay. will be my turn. Let's see. Which one did I attack? The one north of me. Okay. Well, whatever. Speak. Nope. Pause. Nope. Nope. So I will use my action to disengage. Okay. And go five, 
10, 15, 20, 25, 30. That's supposed to move up, 30. 35, or sorry, no, I only go 30. Hold on, I'm used to playing now. All right, and I end my turn there. Hmm. Target attack. Here we go. Back at the top. Okay. Well, we can technically step over one and still be engaged to the others and gain flanking with Nasir. Divine. So for seven. Okay. All right. Okay. And that one's chill touched. Thirty. Flanking. Ooh, that's a solid. Let's check this one again. Thirty. Okay. Don't know why it didn't. Oh, that's my fault. That's my fault. Don't disregard what I'm undoing. I was like, why did it not roll disadvantage? But it's because it was accidentally targeting both. That was my fault. There we go. That's appropriate. Because you succeeded, nothing bad happens. Good to know. Becca. Fucking A, natural ones. Yikes. Let's see.
Yeah, I think I'm fine where I'm at. Whoops. No, you're good. I was just like, wait a minute, that's not what my dice looks like. You're just like, I'm ready to hit him. Nah, I'm gonna try to hit him. Oh shit, didn't mean to do that. I was like, why? why? I, was, I meant to add, uh, I meant to undo your first attack that you did. That was my fault. Because um, you ended up rolling four on accident. Let's see. One, two, three. The very first one was yeah. before I was supposed to. Yeah. Missed anyway? It, no, it hit him. Oh. Yeah. That's why I ended the one bit. Yep, all right, that's where it should be. Okay, so, um, just I'm assuming straight back? Yeah. Okay. Make sure that's actually 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Okay. All right, let's see here. Okay. You are technically flanking with the one right there with, uh, boars, which... Yep, we're going to target him. Uh, is it control or alt the roll with advantage? You do not have to do anything. It'll do it for you. Just attack like normal. Okay. The flanking automatically codes it. So. Ooh, saved you from that one. Yep. Okay. And then... Uh, this should be technically with uh, disadvantage. Okay, let me uh, turn off the uh, flanking. What are you uh, doing? Chill touch. Oh, so uh, you're not you're not uh, within five feet of him, so it should be normal. Uh, but I'm engaged, oh. so. Oh yeah, true. To roll with disadvantage is. Uh, I want to believe it's holding control. Let me test just for... I can't remember. I can't remember if I actually fixed it or not. So if I hold... Uh, let's see. Probably fix it with the actual roll. I'll do this. Let's see. Chill touch. Control does disadvantage, but I won't count that one. But, uh... Yeah, control disadvantage. Okay. And that is that is my turn. Okay. Try again. <laughs> See if I can find something a little better. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Someone just got put to sleep.
that one I hit. One and a seven. Terrible. Terrible. Uh, this one loses flanking because he has not gotten it next to anybody. Three. Jesus. Oh my shit. Alright, make sure I turn on Divine Strike this time. Okay. There's a good one. Okay. Three. Damn it. What the hell? Fucking A. God. Blood rolls. Yikes. Yielded. Okay. I reversed the damage. Okay. So, uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. He is not flanking, but... I'm gonna step up so the one on the left can try and swing if he wants. Yeah, I doubt it'll do anything, but. Wow, the first time ever. That could be a problem. Highest roll I've made all night. Oh, there's a good one. Um, I guess while we're at it, we'll throw a a smite on there. Okay, you just hit it, and it'll you just do it whatever level you're gonna do it at. Yeah, let me find it. Should be in your spells. It's in the, uh, there you go. Yep, and it automatically knew it was critical, so it rolled and... an 8 so. I'll take the dodge action, or well, wouldn't your wouldn't your free? 
reaction had been to use your attack to use your action to use the potion. Yeah. Yeah. I will do this. That's what I say. Yeah, you could do that, but that's not an issue. Does not have flanking. Okay, we'll play that. And I'll move both of them back. Okay. So which one did you hit? I see the one that's got the dot on it. Which is the other one you hit? Uh, the one to her six and three. Okay. So ten. Ten. Okay. All right. Oh, whoops, wrong thing. Wrong person. Oops. Just have to pretty much crit to hit you. All right, let's see here. Well, let's start off with whoops. That's okay. And then he's gonna take a step over here. It's my turn. Okay, let me uh, remove flanking off this guy because he's dead. Okay, all right, the Griffin. Okay, All right, so I'm gonna move five, 10, 15. Okay, I gotta okay. figure out. I gotta figure out which one you hit. You hit two of them. Um, I should have only hit the one that's um 
pretty much I know I don't get flanking for spells, but between me and the seer for flanking. Yeah, you hit the one south of him. Okay, yeah, I wasn't I You're didn't fine. have him targeted. Fine. You did, it's okay. Okay. No, I was targeting the one between me and the seer. Yeah, he's fixed. You're good. Okay, thank you. Yep. Easy fix. Uh, oh, wait, Goblin... Miss Sir... oh, sorry. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. um, yes, yes God, if I use my flamethrower with Gizzy, is the griffin in range to get hit by that? Uh, it's only 15 feet, so no. Okay, cool. Mother. Um, so are you backing up from those two? Yeah. Okay, so they'll both take an attack of opportunity against you. You can move around them as long as you're still touching them and you don't take an uh, attack of opportunity, but if you move away from them, you have to take one. I forgot Same about those rules. Me. You're fine. Womp womp. Okay. Sure, I'm not targeting anyone else. I'm not. Good. That's what shield is for. Okay. And to get the best effect out of Gizzy would be going to the right of that one. Yeah. And then aiming it that way. Okay. And then rotating it if you have a mouse to draw the templates on top of them. How do I turn it again? Uh, if you have a mouse wheel, then you would use the mouse wheel to rotate it. I do not have a mouse wheel. I have a laptop. Damn it, I need to get you a mouse. <laughs> uh, worst case, if you want, I can uh, draw it out for you. Yeah, if you want to draw it out for me, you can. Sure, it's not a problem. Do you want me to just click it and put it down? I got you. Okay. There you go. Oh no, there's two. They both failed. Nice. All right. So, yep, you did your solid 15 damage. So, all right. him doing anything and then untarget you and bam net one not gonna do it okay I'll go ahead flanking sevens Fours is not flanking anymore. I turn it on, it's line strike. And he assumes main. I don't know why it rolled two shit. Uh, and yeah, regardless, they both would have hit and. It's fine. I thought yeah, I turned it off. Just... I was going to say, it still should be flanking on my end. Yeah, it was my fault. I thought I tossed that off, but I didn't, apparently. That was um, my fault. The seer should still be flanking. Not for I, I had boards, tried it though. Off and yeah, he went to, he he went to help you. He wasn't. Yeah. Oh, never mind. Sorry. Who's got less on rolling like shoot? Okay. Damn. 
That's a low roll too. Low roll. And I think he succeeded. Oh yeah, super succeeded. I succeed or fail? Because it just took my spell away. So you succeeded the concentration, like the, sorry, you succeeded the save for the effect of the evil eye, but you failed your con save from the damage you took from the evil eye. Yep. So you took half of the half, but uh, lost the shield of faith. matters. Like fucking threes that I'm rolling. Jesus. Get pushed back ten. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So which one's this one? This one is that one. No. All right. Let's see here. Lots and lots of monsters on here. Well, let's start off with trying to beat this thing into submission. Wow, that doesn't happen often. And we will just go again. And then okay. making good use of your cantrip. Yeah, trying to at least. And Yeah, that'll be it for my my turn. Okay. Oh shit! Why is it on me? Oh, my bad. I didn't mean to do that. No, you're good. Thought I had the Griffin selected, or that it would go there automatically.
Oh, you got two unselected again. I unselected the middle one, and I was um, the, the one between me and the seer, and I selected the one behind the seer. Okay. So it would negate the um, blinking. Trying to. Um... I untargeted. I don't know why it's doing that. I fig I figured oh, out. you revived the one I was targeting. Okay, so that's the one you did want to kill. That's the one I wanted to target. The one in between us, I was going to leave so he could at least get blanking, but I wanted to take away the other one. Yeah. I got you. Okay, there you yep. go. Thank you. Yep. All right, Mincho, you're up. All right. Both of my dudes are still targeted from the flamethrower, and I cannot get them untargeted. Um, just hit alt and then click one of them. Okay. That is not working. Uh, then uh, double right click. Yeah, that is not working as well. That's what I was trying before. Okay. Uh, you may need to possibly refresh. That's the only thing I can think of. It's not letting cool. you. I can do that. It. That's fine. to refresh i don't know if i don't see you targeting either one of them now so okay i don't know if you want to attack for me so you guys don't have to wait on it to load but it's taken a second which one were you going to potentially attack uh i was going to have mintra um firebolt the one right next to her and then gizzy can just um flamethrower the one right next to her okay I just pulled me up so I can do it. Gotcha. Jeez. Alright, wouldn't let me rotate it again. I don't know if you... It's fine. I'll reverse the damage done cool. to Gizzy, at least. Thanks. Yeah. Okay. ones I'm rolling did not even up. Oh shit, that's my bad, my bad. Disregard, I'll undo it. Because I didn't realize it was a it's still on flanking, that's my fault. Uh, okay. Alright, here we go. 
redo. Ah, the other damage is better. That happens though. That one was not the worst. Uh, sorry, at least in the chat, as it looks like I think you possibly refreshed your game. Yeah, it's not. It's just on a blank screen, not loading for me. Gotcha. I'm reviewing it right now. That's fine. I'm gonna turn the uh, snow off. I know sometimes I can jack it up a little bit. It's just extra processing it has to do. I mean, I'm just gonna hit that big one again. So it's not your turn just yet. Um, uh, so you failed the save for the evil eye attack. Um, so after that, you notice a lot of strange magical deformities grow on your body. Um, and while you're having these deformities, it kind of impedes you a little bit. Uh, other than that, he is done. Oh, that one missed. All right, your turn. Should be your turn this time, Nesca. It's still showing me it's on now that it's loaded on the big guy, but let me I'll go back. Try. I'll go back. Here you go, training. There you go. There goes the big one. I was about to say, yeah, uh, the 5, 10, 15, 20. Oh, disregard the 16 points. You're fine, it don't matter. Uh, which, uh, which one did you kill? No, I haven't. That's why I said disregard the Dark Zone blessing. Oh, okay, gotcha. I'll just have to remove the temporary hit points. There we go. All right, so it's five, five, let's see, whoops. All right, where are you at? Five, 10, 15, 20. All right, it's here. Okay. Oh, there 
you go. Damn, double 20. Oh, damn. You went from a double 20 to a double 1. Or a double 1 to a double 20. Yep. That one's dead. There you go. So, we're going to... Take a five foot step this way. So this one's gonna get an attack of opportunity. Okay. Which way are you heading? Uh, I'm oh, right I see. You were. Oh, I see. You were underneath the one that threw me off yep. for a second. So I'm I was right just like, there. I got you. So let me do the thing. It rolled three, so a lot of threes. And then, so you want to be next to that one, so you can get flanking. Okay. Yep. There you go. It'll be my turn. Okay. Well, Bucky, you don't have anything around you now. Um, do I only have one thing targeted? Yes. Okay. Locks. They will outlive me. I don't think they've hit you, but no, they didn't hit you once. I don't think. I think you've shielded like every time they've even hit you. Yeah, I've shielded every time, but I just can't get a good roll and save my life. You're doing okay. You're not. Ne you're not nearly dead yet. I die from right. embarrassment after these rolls. Hey, you know, we've all had nights like that. And you're getting low on spell I appreciate slots, too. It, but it doesn't make me feel less horrible. <laughs> out of out of character, you may want to focus on using your cantrips. Just well, no, she she is using her cantrips, but she's oh, she having is. to shield like every oh, turn. The shield. Oh, her. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Dude, they keep trying to whoop my ass. Gotta use my shield. I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you. Come on, Boris. I gave you flanking again. Oh, it should have. Uh... Oh, he's still again this year, when he's not here, you're helping him the best. <laughs> And then that one loses flanking because that one's dead. Not that it matters. Wow, double disadvantaged 20s is very impressive. That is awesome, Terry. That is awesome. Screenshot that. I need at least one win tonight. Whoops. Let's 
the lowest I've lower that's the furthest I've ever dropped Terry's health in a while. Batman loses his flanking because he's by himself. All right, why is there Dead. All right, so let's see. That one will get moved. Yeah, sorry, my bad. It's back there now. Okay. Let's see if we can finish this. Oh wait, you got oh, flanking on still. Never should I'll do uh, I, this. So I removed flanking, let me undo prone. I mean, try it again. We'll disregard the first one. Fifty. Let me see, was the other one hit? Let's see, it's a five. Plus nine. It still would hit, you're good. Okay, so is he... Yeah, he's, he he's dead. dead. He's dead, okay. yeah. I was just doing the math real quick. I was like, yeah, you'd still kill him. Just wanted to make sure... be my turn. Shit, my bad. What one too many? Shields just not going away for some reason. It's weird. Dead force will come around on that one. Careful damage roll again. All right, Sarah, Sora. Uh, 
Like, who cares about disadvantage? Noise. Hey, we're cleaning up now. Okay, I, now there's only one left. I was like, I thought that was all of them at first. I was like, no, there's one left. Yep, there's the one between Boars and me. Yep. Come on, Eliza. Time to time to kill Steel. That was my turn. Okay, that's the Griffin's turn now. Let's get you on to do anything with the Griffin. I was about to say, there you go. Die, motherfucker! Bucket gets the kill. She deserves it. Now, is the last one or is there another one? Oh, now, I see her O's are sweets. Goodness gracious. Oh my god. <laughs> We're getting close to the level 12, guys. <laughs> yeah, four more thousand. Uh, let me see, which is the one. So uh, after running around, you can uh, fiddle with their bodies and uh, find that. One of them has boots of Elven kind, if anyone's interested. Do bo uh, boots of Elven kind require attunement? I don't know the answer to that. But no. nobody wants, and if nobody needs them, I would like to pick them up. Yep. <laughs> All right, my dude. Yeah. Do not need them. Um, and Nasir's not greedy wait, enough wait to Wait a second. Want Boots them. of Elven Kind. That increases. Dinky had those, right? No, he had. Um, it's not those. Those are the ones that just let, make you silent when you're walking. Uh, um, okay, so uh, the ones not the setting. Okay. I give you an advantage on stealth checks. That's right. He had his little puffy boot things. Well, if nobody wants them, I will take them. <laughs> take them, my dude. Yeah. Nasir right. doesn't need them, and. He's more, he's not greedy enough to try to take them from a child. There's also a silver scimitar someone could sell for a thousand gold. You want it once, twice. I don't want it. I'll sold. take it. <laughs> Eliza said sold, so. Sold to the man. <laughs> Because I can use that uh, as part of uh, repaying Boris for helping me pay for the ring of uh, spell storing. Shit, they do not require attunement. 
Very I'm well equipping said. those right now, or our next long or short rest, I will equip those. You can put them on right now. We'll take five seconds for you to put boots on. Yeah. I have boots on now. <laughs> um, do we want to think about taking a long rest soon or no? Are we safe to take a long rest? How far away? Uh, Ritual about, Tiny Hut? So, you were a day and a half prior to this. You're about a day and a quarter. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. And that's the current time? Yes. I say oh. that we continue pushing until nightfall, and then nightfall long rest, and then continue to push the rest of the way. Heard. Well, it's already dark out. It's 3.30. There's, what the clip, it? there's, there's clips going on. It's oh, not yes. nighttime yet. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Oh. I remember. It's perpetually dark for an unknown time. Yep, it's 15.30. Okay. Yeah, I'm okay with continuing on. Um, and Boars once again missed out on a giant. Uh, Neska, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, preemptively take the snow off because that does bog things down. Okay. Interesting. All right, so let me uh, plug y'all here. Activate. Let me know when y'all are all loaded in. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so the area here seems quieter than normal. Um, there's still just no light, um, but you can actually see some outlines of mountains kind of further off into the distance. Um, like I said, how it's more quieter than normal. Um, the silence gets pierced by an inhuman screech, uh, and you see large gray shapes drop down from you from the sky large what shapes gray shapes like triangles just they're <laughs> they are creatures that are gray flying towards you mm. gargoyles right are they gargoyles or are they golems <laughs> uh do we have time to scatter uh How f how far? Yes, you could scatter. Um, I, want I want to scatter. I want to scatter. Spread out so uh, things like fireball and lightning bolt or are... giant boulders, like the past few things have thrown at. Yeah. What uh this ridge right here is this uh going up or down? It is going up. It is an elevation. And where are these things coming from? Uh, they are coming from the air. Which clock direction? <laughs> Straight up. Roll a perception check. I will help you with that. <laughs> I rolled an 11. Does an 11 yeah. help us? <laughs> you cannot perceive which direction they are coming from. <laughs> Even with an 11, great. <laughs> All right, let's see. He's getting 
And they are not within 120 feet currently. Uh, currently, no. You just hear the screeching coming from direction. Wait a minute, let's see. Screeching uh, is always good. Uh, what type of? Uh, didn't know you did that, but yeah, it will remove that. Yes. Um, can I, is there any type of knowledge trick I can make real quickly as I'm dashing to see if I recognize that screeching as to what type of creature it may go with? Sure. Uh, make a arcana check. Wow. <laughs> you know nothing, Nasir. Wow. You know nothing. Uh, I, I'm too busy <laughs> dashing to go, damn it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, y'all are uh, rolling good for your checks. That's for sure. Yeah, that our, cleric, cool. our cleric's not here to help us with the guidance. <laughs> Let's see. Well, oh well. The music. I'm just waiting for the. How about Hold the action. As soon as something comes in range, start blasting. Mm. And start blasting. Okay, so let me do uh, this. Oh, Mr. Mintry again. Wow. Well, that is not good. One gizzy. Ah, shit. Let's go back. All right, lowers. Gizzy. There we go. There's a decent initiative for once for me. Oh, yeah. So, Elizar, from where you're standing, you would see one of them towards the right. Mm -hmm. See it? Get you one free shot off. Very good. So, yeah, I think it's just a uh, Nesca and the Griffin. Wow, that that that's kind of scary. If there's only one of them. All right, so you're up. Okay, so I saw an Eldrix Blast go off in this direction, but I don't see anything, correct? That is correct. Well. Just 
calculating the tray it added that correctly. I think it should only have gotten. Give me one second here. Uh, you cast it at what a fourth level, so yeah. Because it's every it's five per every level above. Above, so that should have uh should have five left, less. Yeah, twenty-two. So, all right, I fixed it. Here you go. Here you go. That's my turn. Okay. Okay. I can't see anything. Yes, you just heard a very loud screeching, piercing sound. Come. Mm. To move towards the sound or to hold an action? That is the question. Hold action. Firebolt <laughs> something as soon as it becomes comes into range. Yeah, that's or, what I'm going to do. I'm going to hold a firebolt. Okay. And stay put. Okay. Victim to this thing. All right, we'll go five, ten. Now, before you roll, make sure to see how far you are, because he's also 60 feet up in the air. Uh, so let me uh, verify. Yeah, I can't hit if he's 60 feet up in the air, because that's um, 100 feet away from me. Yeah. And it's a range of 120. Okay. The one it. I targeted. But I can target this one over here. Uh, so which one? The one up on the hill? No, the one on the hill, I can't, because he's 100 feet away from me. But he's 60 feet up in the air. I didn't realize that. But I should be able to target this one over here. Let me double check. Yeah, uh, I can target that one. The one to the left of you? The one I have targeted. Yeah, so I'm looking at So you are where you're at. Trying to look. I have 120 feet uh, range for what I'm about to use. Okay. I, when I saw your arrow over to it, it said 70. So I was like, let me verify because... When I do it, it's what, 65. Yeah, but what I'm attacking with has a range of 120. Yeah, so 65 plus, 120, plus 60 is 125. But he, he's elevated? That The one to the to the left is 60 feet up in the air. Oh, okay. Never mind yeah. then. I will hold my action until something gets in range then. The one that's right there, Eliza, for you, he's 45 feet up in the air. And then I think you were, what, 80? And you drew yours out. Yeah. Yeah. I technically gave you a freebie on the first one, but you missed anyway, I think. So. But this guy, though. So now that one's 60 up, and then how close are you to him? Mm. 60. Within five of them. Pushing them back, I'm assuming. Always. Did all three land, it looks like. I think they did. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Close. 
Oops, it was inked up. I did too good of a job drawing these fucking trees. Alright, let's see. So, it's five. Ten. Fifteen. Twenty. Thirty. Thirty-five. Forty. Forty-five. Fifty. Sixty. Okay. So we already got, um, let me verify something quick. See. Let's see what your best is. You are better at that one. Okay. Compare it to his. Nice. All right. So. Mentra, you got a roll coming your way. Okay. I don't see anything yet. I'm about to send it. Oh, okay. Mother. So, uh, this thing came in and grabbed you. Am I in the air now? Uh, he's about to take you up to the air, yes. Cool. It's been real, guys. Does she get a free shot in? Because she was holding an action? She was holding an action. She got a one. Well, oh, that, I'll, I'll let you get one shot, I'm sure. I mean, it's not going to kill him, but... Really? One shot's one shot. Roll it. Make I'm excited. Spicy. There you go. Yay. There you go, you hit him. You did some damage. Am I still grappled? Yeah, he would you would have, you would so have hit it. You yeah. would have hit it before it came in and grabbed you. Okay. Yep. So what it uh, are... it snatched you and has flown up twenty feet up in the air. Okay. So you're currently twenty feet up there with it. All right. This one up here is going to come down and go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, come on, 35, diagonal, all right, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, okay. Uh, let's see, who's the next closest victim? Okay. Oh, you're really close. Okay. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. Okay. All right. Griffin's up. It's going to hold its action until I get on it. Okay. All right. So, Boars is at least 
close enough that he can chunk his hammer at the thing. Let's say it's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Let's see. Well, it's going to be a disadvantage, but he'll at least still have a chance of hitting it. It's just outside of it. There it goes. Okay, and then of course after I let it go, I have to potentially see if that's gonna hit or not. Um, yeah, it would have missed. All right, let's go ahead. I know you're climbing on your griffin. Yeah, I'm going to climb on there and then move over here. All right, see ya. Okay. So he is... 65 feet away from you. Yep, 65, 65 from you. Yep. Okay. And it'll be my turn. Okay. All right, Mintra. Okay, so if I fall, if we kill this thing and I fall from twenty feet, that will hurt me, right? Like pretty. It, it would only it's it's two d six falling. You take one d six for ten feet of feet that you fall. So you could reaction feather fall. Um, I'm out of spell slots for feather fall. I've got fly. Uh, you could still do feather fall. It's just because it's first level. You could still cast it as a second or a third level. Worst okay. case scenario, you take 12 damage. More yeah, likely, you take absolutely. 5 or 6. Yeah. Cool, cool. Okay, I just didn't know if I needed to save my action and just use the guns. You can, for your action, you can attempt to try to break the grapple. Do I just say I want to try to break the grapple, or do I do it's something? Another, yeah. It's another contested roll, yeah. Okay, what do I have to so, roll for that? I'll send it to you to make it easier for you. Uh, it's typically athletics or acrobatics, one of the two. Yeah, okay. yours for yours is acrobatics is your best. So. Nice. Hey, that's, uh, you're pretty much almost guaranteed to break loose. Yep. Alright, so you break loose you from the cat. Up. So, um... You can, if you want to use a reaction to do feather fall. If not, it'll be two d six bludgeoning. Yeah, I'm gonna, damage. I'm gonna do my feather fall. Okay. Grab onto the griffin. Oh, can I just grab onto the griffin then? Well, I mean, you used your action to break free. True. Wait, can I have the griffin grab her? I mean, your action that your griffin did was to hold its action to fly or hold its turn to fly. New round. Well, it's it, it hasn't it hasn't come back turn to the, the Griffin's turn yet because he did that at the very end of the round. I appreciate you guys for being ride or dies in this <laughs> trying time. Y'all, y'all, y'all are real ones. Appreciate you. Oh, yeah, hey, it won't let me. Over there trying to save you, so you know, hey. It won't let me um, do Featherfall. Uh, you gotta target yourself. Oh, I was targeting the Griffin. I don't know. I said Griffin. And I was just like, right, target the Griffin.
you'll uh, safely float down to the ground, taking no damage. And at least you're 20 feet away from the uh, the gargoyle now. Well, and I can still attack with Gizzy, right? Uh, yes. Cool. As your bonus action, yep. It is not a problem. So he went 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And that's 10 less because of the lethargy. Oh, you were targeting both again, but it's okay. He gets hit with two that time. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. I was trying to move him first. Five. Okay. Back to go back to what I was doing. Go back. Hold on. Okay. So. So Nisk, I'm assuming you got at level with the gargoyle. Yeah. So he uh, failed to dive in and grab you. So about five feet above you. Okay, let's see. So, question. Yes. You said he's about five feet above me. So, is he in melee range with me now? Or yes, no? you, you could swing up at him, yes. Okay. He had to be at least close enough to try and grab you. So, he's close enough to be able to be hit to get hit. Um, why do I have a contested roll? Because one's swooping down to grab you. Okay. These things like to get touchy. Nah, you should be okay. And I'm trying to remember who a tie goes to. I think... I can't remember if a tie goes to the... Um, I want to say a tie goes to the person who's defending. Let it me, does. let me... Yeah. Let me verify that I always like to make sure if I'm not. So if you're the aggressor sure. and you equal out, it goes to the person defending. Grapple, right? Yep. Yeah.
keep seeing the bad. Like if you're already grappled, I'm just like, all right. So a person that's like, I'm just saying that because that's how you've done it in the past. Yeah, I'm. I am pretty sure it is the person who, um, the the whoever's defending. If you get tied, you're you're safe. Um, Okay, yeah, we'll go with that. So you're safe. So I'm assuming the gargoyles are invisible? No, he's right beside you. I just hadn't made him invisible yet. So, Boars is closer to this cat that's attacking Becca. Okay, so in contested roles, uh, in the case of a tie, um, it, the it is treated as if what, however it was before the roll. So in this case, it would mean she's not grabbed. Yeah. And that's in Chapter 7 of the Player's Handbook. All right, so here you're up. Uh, well, I didn't like being grabbed. Bad gargoyle. I said bad gargoyle. Okay, that's just rude. Good trip. You're safely on the ground. Hey, Becca, you're up. I only have one targeted, correct? Uh, let me verify. Uh, you have two targeted. I only see one. Here's the other one. I'll move him for a second so you can right. target him. He's to your left. Okay.
was in the process of grabbing the one that Eliza removed when it changed. Alright, Asir, you can make an attack of opportunity. I can? Yep. He's flying away from me? He is flying away from you. Is he gonna try to grab Eliza? That would be really good on y'all saves. Woo! Yay, Eliza! Need to verify something. Um, Seconds, uh, need to verify something. Open requires an attack action. Multi attack. Okay, so it doesn't count. Okay, just need to verify. Cool. All right. All right. So this one's gonna go five, ten, fifteen. Damn y'all rolling good on y'all saves. God, and I'm not. Yikes. Yay. Good how for us for a change. How is that negative four? Or I thought it was a it looked like that was like a, a six or a nine. I don't know why it turned into a four. Because you did Arcana. Oh, that was my fuck me. Damn it. Why did you tell him that? I don't know. Well, that's my fault. I didn't click the right button, so. I'll just have to be a little more attention paying next time. <laughs> Terry, I love you a lot. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh... I didn't realize I killed that thing. We're going to move over next to Becca. Okay. I appreciate that. <laughs> so.
so you can uh, move them over. So four is attacked, then Uh, is this one still just five yes. feet above the ground? Yes. It should put me in flanking, right? Yes. Stop trying to snatch people. My turn. Good trip. Ugh. Yeah, before you end your turn, there's one to your left. Do you know? Are you uh, aware of that one? No, I can't see that one. Okay, well, it's coming your way, so you should uh, not be where you're at and come our way. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and move. These things are like the bass that torment mom. <laughs> yeah. Funny. Or like June bugs. I'll have to type you a funny story about our mom, Terry. Oh, yeah. Just is. let me know later. The, like the bat uh, episode from The Office. Honestly, yeah, ten times worse actually, but yes. <laughs> Nobody puts a trash bag over her head, so I guess you know. Uh, that's that's a win. so fucking good. Jesus. Again. Did it come past me to get at her? It's coming right here. Yeah, but it's like 60 feet in the air coming it's, down to ground level, right? It's it's going to be at 5 feet above her once it's going basically like diagonally down. Right, but I'm 20 feet in the air? Oh, I guess it's... All right. It was dive bombing under you to go straight at her. Similar to like when Elizar backs up and he's elevating a 45 degree angle like that. All right, Becca. It won't do anything for you. I'll just blast. It's only for melee attacks. Lame. That's okay. I mean, but if you want to move them away, go ahead. Oh, that's happening.
All right, so if this will matter, so Eliza, do you want him, since he's, he's technically five feet floating above you, do you want him to continue going diagonally up away from you since you'd be shooting at, well, I guess you'd have to because he's technically sh you're shooting up towards him. Yeah. That first one never rolled damage. It did. It did eight. Oh, I just don't have it on my screen yet. Yeah. It was a little slow. And then yeah, it did uh, it did eight damage. It's like right when you removed flanking addition, it removed eight damage. It removed eight health. And then your other one, you did ten, and then the other one did uh, six. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you hit him with all three, so it's going to be 30. If there's any dice rolling, disregard, because I'm not rolling anything. I don't know why it's doing damage. Uh, fuck. It's weird. Okay. Strange. Alright. He's going to come around on this end. Son of a bitch. Enter. Finally, Jesus. Only the second fucking time. So, it can only go up 10 more feet because he got his reduced. So, he'll be 15 feet up in the air with you. Use shield. Yeah, let me, uh, with your shield, he would still hit. Do you still want to use your shield? No. Okay. Let's, uh, you cast it as a second level, so let's give you a second level spell lock this block back. All right. Gotta be careful because I. Look too much, it's gonna fuck my thing up and it's gonna be reset. Okay. So I'm adding a second level spell slot back. Thank you. Yep. Alright, so that's added back. And that one's gonna hit too, even if you shield. So both of the gargoyles are about five feet up in the air. So yeah, perfect. Okay. Logan's gonna throw the hammer. Uh, 
actually hit. Yep. Good solid damage with that one. Okay, so I'm Seer, you're no longer flanking, and yep. he's out of your melee range, but you can still hit spells easily enough. Yep. So... That is all I can really do at this point in time. Okay, Becca, you're up. Got him just by one. I'm intra. Oh, Eliza, how are you getting out? Elizar has this. One second, I'm just checking something about his uh, grappling and uh, his Eldritch Blast.
so I was looking at it different different things. So um, the repelling blast and grapple can be situational. Um, you don't have to push them away. It's fine. So what? You don't have to push them away. Okay. I was. It's because there's some instances that like if the thing's like tiny and grabbing, then yeah, you can easily just knock it off. But if it's like something a little bigger or, or meatier, then it's like it just hangs on to you, you know, and no, still getting fine. shot off. Um, but uh, so. He is going to fly straight up into the air. Um, That's fine. He can only go 50 because his movement's reduced. I mean, worst case scenario, um, Eliza, teleportation automatically breaks grapple. I'll just wait till he dies. And then I'll just float down to the ground. Yeah. Yeah, he's, he, a, he's, worst case. he can fly, but I mean, this creature doesn't know that he can fly, so it's like, to him, he's, you know, food, but yep. Eliza himself is safe. He's like the least effective person by being grappled by the person besides maybe Nesca. I was just having to verify. And of course it's a two. can't get him with his hammer but he can at least get mostly under him and I think I don't want these guys to bolt because he's getting really low on flame on spell slots uh, sacred flame is 60 and he's just barely outside of that that's the only thing he's really got range that he can do for free so let's have him nearby and that's going to probably kill him anyway, so it shouldn't really matter. Oh. Here, I'll do this to make it a little less cluttered. Get you a free pop shot. I think Jill Touch has the range. I think it's 120. Yeah, it's got the range. You don't have to burn another spell slot. Yeah. And then I Eliza made him let can... go of you, 
Eliza. Yeah, and he can just cool. uh, then I'll float down really, to the bottom. That's right. No, uh, no repercussions. So let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. And I will definitely move out of the way to make sure it does. The gargoyle doesn't fall on hmm. as it falls out of the air. Like a gigantic rock. Yep. So after you had traveled for about two and a half, three hours to get to running into these gargoyles, um, it's still weather-wise is still not the greatest. You over just a hair to get those effects to go away. There it goes. I get the bubble off. It like double stacked the glow effect. Um, so. I will let y'all decide. So the next area is a little bit more role-playing heavy. So and it's it's almost 11. So if we start it, it, it could be like 20, 30 minutes of role-playing. So would y'all rather just call it before it, it gets a little too late? I mean, I ain't got to work tomorrow. I have to work. I got a 48 the next two days, so. Should be done. Wait for Boris to get back. Okay. Yeah, I agree. Ooh, that's yeah. true. Yeah. And then our next game session will be um, next Saturday. So I actually, it's my anniversary next Saturday. I oh, shit. We can't play. Enjoy your I, anniversary. Definitely. Thank you. Yeah. So it's my wedding anniversary, so I will not be present. I will be doing wedding anniversary stuff.